what I basically talked about was um, a lot about my own experiences, what it has been to work with uh, digital influencers that have been interested in coming to Finland. Um, so far, our, I mean, our experiences have been really good, uh, but we've learned a lot from that uh, in terms of choosing the right influencers that we want to work with, um, what to, you know, make sure that happens when they are in Finland uh, and how to follow up with them so that we get the best results possible. Well, I think um, what's really important is doing the research on the influencers that you're, you're in contact with, um, but also making sure that you know what kind of influencers uh, fit your brand so that you know uh, what the target demographic that you want um, the influencers to have from which country, what style of travel. Um, do you want them to be really active on social media? Do you want them to take photos or videos? Um, but also just in general, um, who you want to work with and, and what kind of you know, influencers they are. Uh, well, I think it, it all starts from you know open communication with the influencer, just so that you and him or her are both on the same page of what is expected, uh, what will be offered for them, and what they'll be giving you. Um, but then also, um, well, especially since we are a national organization and we work a lot with the regional uh, partners, uh, just so that all of the partners in the chain uh, know how to work with influencers, um, so that and also that. Uh, all of the parties, parties also share the content uh, because if it's not shared, it, it dies and half, half of the work didn't get done uh, and no one will ever know the great things that you did. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's important that both us and the regional parties, for example, Visit Helsinki or Visit Rovaniemi, will actually share uh, the content that got created. Right. Well, it has changed a lot even in the past years that I've been doing this. Um, and I think if you can't adapt, you're kind of falling from the wagon. Uh, what I see a lot is a lot more influencers are now asking for money, um, which I think is okay as long as you can deliver more as well. Uh, like I said earlier, I don't want to pay for a trip, but I'm willing to pay for a campaign uh, because campaign has specific targets and goals, and then the influencer will be, you know, on charge of delivering them. And because I don't want to be there, being like, can you please send me your posts? Um, but also, Instagram is growing rapidly, uh, and professional Instagrammers uh, have contacted us a lot recently. Uh, I think it's fantastic uh, for a person like me that doesn't come from a travel background. This is like coming to home uh, to people who speak the same language, who, who are interested in the same things. So this is really, really important for me.